and in the presence of God to unite this man, Daniel, and this woman, Carrie, in marriage. We come to share their joy and to ask God to bless them. The church believes that marriage is a gift of God and a means of grace in which two persons become one in heart, mind, and body. Marriage is a sacred and lifelong union as they give themselves to each other in love and trust that they may encourage and enrich each other in every part of their life together. A couple approaches marriage with delight and tenderness that they may know each other in love and through their physical union strengthen the union of their lives. Marriage is a way of life which all people should honor. It is not to be entered into lightly or selfishly but responsibly and in the love of God. On this occasion, Daniel and Karen come before you, their family and friends, to affirm the choice that they have made of each other as a life's mate and their intention to establish a home to fulfillment of life together. As we enter upon this celebration this afternoon, it is appropriate not only to invoke God's presence upon this ceremony, but God's blessing upon this cup. Will you join with me in prayer? Eternal God, we give thanks to you for the gift of life and for its renewal each day. We gather now in your presence to celebrate this time which brings Daniel and Karen to the threshold of their marriage. For the dreams which they have dreamed and for their hopes for themselves and for each other, we give you thanks. We pray that the words and spirit of our gathering may be filled with meaning which will deepen with the passing years. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. Daniel and Karen, as you prepare to make your vows to each other, realize that from now on your destinies shall be woven of one design, and your perils and joy shall not be known apart. The words, I love you, perhaps first spoken shyly in time gone by, when it was not known that they would be accepted or returned in kind, are today spoken in the full commitment of yourselves to each other. And so I would ask you first, Daniel, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only unto her, so long as you both shall live? Karen, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, be faithful only unto him, so long as you both shall live. Will the parents and other family members of Daniel and Karen now give your blessing to them in their new relationship? Will you support them with the freedom and love which they need? Will you share your experience and wisdom with them, yet at the same time be willing to learn from them as newlyweds as well? If you are so willing, would you respond together by saying, we will. We will. Now I invite you to turn and face one another and hold hands as you exchange vows and take one another to be husband and wife. Would you first repeat after me to Karen? I, Daniel, take you, Karen. To be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. And Karen, would you repeat these vows after me? I, Karen, take you, Daniel, I, Karen, take you to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. for better, for worse, better, for, worse. For, richer, for, poorer. for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in and in health. to love and to cherish, love and to cherish. as long as we shall live. May I have the wedding rings?
These wedding rings serve as a symbol of the covenant you have just spoken to one another. They are an outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible grace which unites two hearts in love. They are especially significant because the circle of these rings is a symbol of the everlasting love you, Daniel, and you, Karen, are sharing this day. Will you join with me in a prayer of blessing? Bless these rings, loving God, to be the visible sign of the vows here made, that each who gives a ring and each who wears one may ever be reminded of the promises made, evermore living and growing in the spirit of your love. Amen. You place this ring on Karen's ring finger and repeat after me to her. Karen, in token and pledge, The vow made between us. <clears throat> With this ring, I thee wed. Karen, you place this in Daniel's ring finger and repeat after me to him. Daniel, in token and pledge of the vow made between us. With this ring, I thee wed. Since you, Daniel, and you, Karen, have consented together to be married and have witnessed the same before God and this group of your family and friends, and have committed love and faith in each other, and have sealed that covenant with rings, as a minister of the United Church of Christ, I pronounce that you are now husband and wife together. What God has joined together, let no one could ever suffer. Would you join with me in a prayer of blessing? Loving God, we thank you for Daniel and Karen as they join their hearts and lives in marriage this day. We are thankful that in these first moments of their marriage they have acknowledged your presence. We pray that they may continue to lean upon your strength and be quick to forgive, generous in patience, and dependably strong. When they laugh for joy, may they give you the praise. When they sink in sorrow, may they find in you a comfort. When they labor at their dreams, may they find their hope in you. Challenge them to grow gracefully and in grace. Move them to reach beyond their faith. Remind them that in serving others, they serve you. May this marriage be a channel of blessing not only for them, but for others who are touched by their lives. Amen. Daniel and Karen, prepare now to go back out into the world and fulfill your lives together. Hold fast to your dreams. Give one another new experiences of joy. Challenge one another that you might grow together. May your love, now sealed with marriage, mature and enrich the experiences of you both. May your new home together be a happy one and your lives fulfilled. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. May you be strong in grace and love now and forever. Go now for this wedding ceremony is completed, but your new life together as husband and wife is just beginning. May God bless you. Amen. Dan, you may not kiss your wife. <laughs>